Ladies and gentlemen, would you please stand for the arrival of Her Excellency, the Governor of Victoria, Mr Anthony Howard and the Premier of Victoria. Please be seated. I've been informed by the Premier that there have been changes to his ministry and to give effect to these changes, I've received resignations from 31 portfolios and on the advice of the Premier, I accept these resignations. Your Excellency, I now invite the Premier to present his ministry. Your Excellency, I present the Deputy Premier, the Honourable Jacinta Allen MP, to be the Minister for Commonwealth Games Delivery. Thank you. Deputy Premier, can I ask you please to um, uh, take the oath? Can I ask you to stand? You can ask me to stand. Thank you. I, Jacinta Marie Allen, swear by Almighty God that as Minister for Commonwealth Games Delivery for the State of Victoria, I will at all times and in all things discharge the duties of my office according to law and to the best of my knowledge and ability without fear, favour or affection. Thank you. And I do ask you to sit down now, please, and sign the oaths. Thank you. Thank you, and may I congratulate you. I hand you your commission. Thank you. Your Excellency, I present the Honourable Lizzie Blanthorne MP to be Minister for Planning. Ms Blanson, I invite you to take the oath as a minister and then the oath as an executive councillor. I, Elizabeth Ann Blanthorne, swear by Almighty God that as Minister for Planning for the State of Victoria, I will at all times and in all things discharge the duties of my office according to law and to the best of my knowledge and ability without fear, favour or affection. I, Elizabeth Ann Blanthorne, swear by Almighty God that I will, to the best of my judgment and ability, faithfully advise and assist the Governor, Lieutenant Governor, Governor's Deputy or Administrator of the State of Victoria in all matters as shall be brought under my consideration as a member of the Executive Council of the said State, and that I will not directly or indirectly communicate or reveal to any person any matter which shall be so brought under my consideration or shall become known to me as a member of the said Council and which shall by the said Governor, Lieutenant Governor, Governor's Deputy or Administrator be directed to be kept sec secret. Thank you so much. And if you wouldn't mind being seated and sign all copies of the, the oath. Thank you, and I say congratulations, Minister. Thank you. Your Excellency, I present the Honourable Colin Brooks MP to be Minister for Child Protection and Family Services and Minister for Disability, Ageing and Carers. Thank you. Mr Brooks, may I invite you to take the oath as a minister and then the oath as an executive councillor. Thank you, Governor. I, Colin William Brooks, swear by Almighty God that as a Minister for Child Protection and Family Services and Minister for Disability, Ageing and Carers for the State of Victoria, I will at all times and in all things discharge my duties of my office according to law and to the best of my knowledge and ability without fear of favour or affection. I, Colin William Brooks, swear by Almighty God that I will, to the best of my judgment and ability, faithfully advise and assist the Governor, Lieutenant Governor, Governor's Deputy or Administrator of the State of Victoria in all matters as shall be brought under my consideration as a member of the Executive Council of the said State, 
and that I will not directly or indirectly communicate or reveal to any person any matter which shall be so brought under my consideration or shall become known to me as a member of the said council and which shall by the said governor, lieutenant governor, governor's deputy or administrator be directed to be kept secret. Thank you. Would you mind signing all the votes? <coughs> Thanks. Say to you too, congratulations, Minister. Your Excellency, I present the Honourable Anthony Carbines MP to be Minister for Police, Minister for Crime Prevention, and Minister for Racing. Thank you. Would you please take the oath as a minister? I, Anthony Richard Carbines, swear by Almighty God that as Minister for Police, Minister for Crime Prevention and Minister for Racing for the State of Victoria, I will at all times and in all things discharge the duties of my office according to law and to the best of my knowledge and ability without fear, favour or affection. Thank you. Can I ask you to sign the oaths, please? Thank you. May I present you with your commission and say congratulations. Your Excellency, I present the Honourable Ben Carroll MP to be Minister for Industry Support and Recovery and Minister for Business Precincts. Thank you. Could I invite you please to take the oath? I, Benjamin Allen Carroll, swear by Almighty God that as Minister for Industry Support and Recovery and Minister for Business Precincts for the State of Victoria, I will at all times and in all things discharge the duties of my office according to law and to the best of my knowledge and ability without fear, favour or affection. Thank you. If you could sign both copies of the oath. Thanks. Thank you. Congratulations, Minister. Your Excellency, I present the Hon. Lily D'Ambrosio, MP, to be Minister for Energy and Minister for Environment and Climate Action. Thank you. Could I ask you, please, Minister, to make the affirmation? I, Liliana D'Ambrosio, solemnly and sincerely affirm that as Minister for Energy and Minister for Environment and Climate Action for the State of Victoria, I will at all times and in all things dis discharge the duties of my office according to law and to the best of my knowledge and ability without fear, favour or affection. Thank you. And if you'd sign both copies, thank you. Thank you. May I say congratulations? Just don't worry about that. <laughs> Your Excellency, I present the Honourable Steve Demopoulos, MP, to be the Minister for Tourism, Sport and Major Events, and Minister for Creative Industries. Thank you. 
Uh, could I ask you please to make the affirmation as a minister and the affirmation as an executive councillor? Hi, Stephen Dimopoulos, solemnly and sincerely affirm that as Minister for Tourism, Sport and Major Events and Minister for Creative Industries for the State of Victoria, I will at all times and in all things discharge the duties of my office according to law and to the best of my knowledge and ability without fear, favour or affection. I, Stephen Dimopoulos, solemnly and sincerely affirm that I will, to the best of my judgment and ability, faithfully advise and assist the Governor, <coughs> Lieutenant Governor, Governor's Deputy or Administrator of the State of Victoria in all matters as shall be brought under my consideration as a member of the Executive Council of the said State, and that I will not directly or indirectly communicate or reveal to any person or any matter which shall be so brought under my consideration, or shall become known to me as a member of the said Council and which shall by the said Governor, Lieutenant Governor, Governor's Deputy or Administrator be directed to be kept secret. Thank you. Would you sign all the copies of the oath? Congratulations, Minister. Thank you. Your Excellency, I present the Honourable Melissa Horn, MP, to be Minister for Local Government and Minister for Suburban Development. Thank you. Could I ask you please to make the affirmation? Thank you. I am Melissa Margaret Horne, so solemnly and sincerely affirm that as Minister for Local Government and Minister for Suburban Development for the State of Victoria, I will at all times and in all things discharge the duties of my office according to law and to the best of my knowledge and ability without fear, favour or affection. Thank you. Would you sign both copies? Thank you very Thank much, you. and can I say congratulations to the Keep those. Your Excellency, I present the Honourable Natalie Hutchins, MP, to be Minister for Education and Minister for Women. Could I ask you please to take the oath of office? I, Natalie Marie Sykes Hutchins, swear by Almighty God that as a Minister for Education and Minister for Women for the State of Victoria, I will at all times and in all things discharge the duties of my office according to law and to the best of my knowledge, ability, without fear, favour or affection. Thank you so much. And if you sign both copies, thank you. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Your Excellency, I present the Honourable Sean Lean MP to be a Minister for Commonwealth Games Legacy. Morning. Could I ask you to make the affirmation of office, please? Thank you. Uh, I, Sean Leo Lean, solemnly and sincerely affirm that as Minister for Commonwealth Games Legacy for the State of Victoria, I will at all times and in all things discharge my duty of my office according to the law and to the best of my knowledge and ability without fear, favour or affection. Thank you. Could you sign both copies of the oath, please? Congratulations. Your Excellency, I present the Honourable Tim Pallas, MP, to be Minister for Trade. Thank you. 
Patricia, could I ask you to take the oath? I, Timothy Hugh Pallas, swear by Almighty God that as Minister for Trade for the State of Victoria, I will at all times and in all things discharge the duties of my office according to law and to the best of my knowledge and ability without fear, favour or affection. Thank you. And would you sign the copies of the oath, please? Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. Your Excellency, I present the Honourable Danny Pearson MP to be Minister for Housing. I, Daniel James Pearson, solemnly and sincerely affirm that as Minister for Housing for the State of Victoria, I will at all times and in all things discharge the duties of my office according to law and to the best of my knowledge and ability without fear, favour or affection. Thank you. Could you sign the affirmation, please? Thank you. Could I say congratulations? Your Excellency, I present the Honourable Harriet Shing MP to be Minister for Water, Minister for Regional Development and Minister for Equality. Thank you. Could I ask you please to make the affirmation of office as a minister and then the affirmation as an executive councillor? I, Harriet Clare Sumei Wong King Shing, solemnly and sincerely affirm that as Minister for Water, Minister for Regional Development and Minister for Equality for the State of Victoria, I will at all times and in all things discharge the duties of my office according to law and to the best of my knowledge and ability without fear, favour or affection. I, Harriet Clare Su May Wong King Shin, solemnly and sincerely affirm that I will, to the best of my judgment and ability, faithfully advise and assist the Governor, Lieutenant Je Governor, Governor's Deputy or Administrator of the State of Victoria in all matters as shall be brought under my consideration as a member of the Executive Council of the said State, and that I will not directly or indirectly communicate or reveal to any person any matter which shall be so brought under my consideration or shall become known to me as a member of the said Council, and which shall by the said Governor, Lieutenant Governor, Governor's Deputy or Administrator be directed to be kept secret. Thank you. Could I ask you to sign the information? There's another time, don't I? I'm giving you extra. Can you sign all of them? Yes, of course. Thanks. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Thank Minister. You. Your Excellency, I present the Honourable Ros Spence MP to be the Minister for Prevention of Family Violence. Could I ask you please to make the affirmation? I, Rosalind Louise Spence, solemnly and sincerely affirm that as, a minister, as Minister for Prevention of Family Violence for the State of Victoria, I will at all times and in all things discharge the duties of my office according to law and to the best of my knowledge and ability without fear, favour or affection. Thank you. Could you sign both copies of the affirmation? Congratulations. Your Excellency, I present the Honourable Ingrid Stitt MP to be Minister for Early Childhood and Pre-Prep. Could I ask you please to make the affirmation? 
I, Ingrid Stitt, solemnly and sincerely affirm that as Minister for Early Childhood and Pre-Prep for the State of Victoria, I will at all times and in all things discharge the duties of my office according to law and to the best of my knowledge and ability without fear, favour or affection. Thank you. And if you could sign both copies of the information. Yeah. Tricked you, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Can I say congratulations? Thank you. Thank you. Your Excellency, I present the Honourable Mary Ann Thomas MP to be Minister for Health and Minister for Ambulance Services. Thank you. Thank you, Minister. Could I ask you please to make the affirmation? I, Mary Ann Thomas, solemnly and sincerely affirm that as Minister for Health and Minister for Ambulance Services for the State of Victoria, I will at all times and in all things discharge the duties of my office according to law and to the best of my knowledge and ability, without fear, favour or affection. Thank you very much. If you sign both copies, please. Wonderful. And I could say congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Your Excellency, I present the Honourable Gail Tierney MP to be Minister for Agriculture. Thank you. Minister, could I ask you to make the affirmation, please? Thank you. I, Gail Ann Tierney, solemnly and sincerely affirm that as Minister for Agriculture for the State of Victoria, I will at all times and in all things discharge the duties of my office according to the law and to the best of my knowledge and ability without fear, favour or affection. Thank you. And if you could sign both copies. Your Excellency, I present the Honourable Gabrielle Williams MP to be the Minister for Mental Health and Minister for Treaty and First Peoples. Minister, could I invite you to take the oath, please? I, Gabrielle Lee Williams, swear by Almighty God that as Minister for Mental Health and Minister for Treaty and First Peoples for the State of Victoria, I will at all times and in all things dis discharge the duties of my office according to law and to the best of my knowledge and ability without fear, favour or affection. Thank you so much. Could you sign them? Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry about the <laughs> Excellency, I want to acknowledge that uh, due to COVID, uh, Sonia Kilkenny MP was unable to be here today and we will make it your convenience arrangements to Absolutely. swear her into her portfolios. And I'm also very pleased to inform you that uh, Steve McGee MP, the member for Melton, will serve as the Cabinet Secretary. Well, thank you and congratulations to him too. That concludes the official proceedings. May I ask please that all members of the Ministry and the Cabinet Secretary accompany the Governor and the Premier into the ballroom for official photographs. And good family members and guests, please follow Mr Howard into the State Hall for refreshments. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you all.